We want to make sure that those kind of blackouts and brownouts don't occur anymore. Yeah, we've all seen those requests from ERCOT to curb energy during yep. peak times. Well, the Texas A&M University system is making plans to build a power network to try to stabilize the Texas energy grid. Yeah, these peaker power plants would operate during times of peak demand and provide additional electricity to keep the power on. One of them could end up right here in San Antonio. Here's meteorologist Mia Montgomery on the early planning stages. 54. That's how many properties the Texas A&M University system currently owns within the service boundaries of ERCOT. After the Texas Energy Fund, which provides grants and loans to developers to construct and maintain electric facilities in the Lone Star State, was passed in November of last year, Chancellor John Sharp says that Texas A&M decided to offer up their lands to service sites for peaker power plants. We had several people come to us and said, look, with all the campuses that Texas A&M University System has and all the property we have all over the state, why don't you offer that up? So what exactly is a peaker power plant? Well, they only operate during times of peak energy demand. They run off of gas and provide an alternate source of power when renewable energy generation is low. While decisions regarding which properties will be used haven't been made yet, one of the more serious contenders is currently Texas A&M San Antonio. And it's because of this. This natural gas line is already in place and runs through the back of Texas A&M San Antonio's campus. At first, it may not have been ideal, but now it could be a key player. The utility line that intersects is a perfect place for a peaker plant. There is uh, a gas line that runs right right through there. There are, there are power lines that are also very close to that. And so, you know, there's about 600 acres back there uh, that, that were to be uh, possible. These speaker power plants would be able to generate power at times when renewable energy sources like wind and solar are low, an opportunity that Sharp says is important to Texans all across the state. But make sure that, uh, that, your, that your houses don't go dark and it's a, not just a great service to the people of Texas by providing a lot more megawatts of power, but also to the communities that we, we have our campuses embedded in. This project is still in the very early stages and estimated times of completion have not been announced yet. But the Texas A&M system has been in talks with officials involved with ERCOT and Texas legislators as they all come together and help make this project a reality. One that will benefit Texans all across this state that we call home. Mia Montgomery, KSAT 12 News. All right, this is going to be an interesting thing to watch because obviously the power and ERCOT and it's, it's a constant concern during the summer, during the winter. So this is something that could be a solution, especially after the winter storm of 21. A lot of people, uh, critics, honestly, of the power plants have been looking at, OK, what does yes. Texas need to have energy you can turn on when you need it? And ERCOT and the energy trade in Texas can be a little controversial too, yes. right? And it can be political a little bit as well. And so I'm curious to see what the other side of it is thinking, you know, traders and whatnot. I mean, what's that viewpoint? We don't know. That's not our yeah. specialty. Because they make a lot of money. They do. And when, when it gets it's tight. Peak, when it yep. gets tight, that's when they make a lot of money. So, exactly. Yeah, money's part so, of this whole equation. So that's, you bet it is. Yeah. Yes, that's my question, and that's above what our knowledge is of the situation right now. Yeah. But we're going to stay on top of it, and we'll keep you updated, because uh, we have several Aggies in our weather department, if you didn't notice, and they we like sure to... Do. Yeah, they keep but on top of the Aggie I think news. there's a lot of potential in peaker power plants, peaker power plants. And you all love to say it already. <laughs>